Alright then, uh, I've got something real nice to show you, just sitting over there. Now check this out. Now this here is a, a real deal officer's uniform and officer's dress code I'll show you. So, let's see. It's the real deal. Fold that out. Oh, I have to, I have to fold it out. I wasn't actually preparing to do this. But, I have right here, check this out. These are real deal one-off photos of um, the Emperor. Let's see, uh, there's, there's the Emperor right there. Um, now that one I think might be a card, but this one here is a photo of where he's going through and inspecting factories. Uh, we have here, there we go, there's a shot there, and this actual shot right here is blurred. This, this bloke here is right, quite blurred, but there's Hirohito walking along there, uh, going into some kind of establishment. And there's a, some kind of factory, in my presumption. And that's the Emperor's car way back in the day, and that right there is the Emperor's seal. You see that? Oh, that. Talk about a rare find. <laughs> there you go, Emperor's car right there. There we go. I'd like to take that rally in. I wonder where that is. I wonder who has who has that particular rig. Hmm. That's the Emperor's um chicks. Uh I would have selected some better looking birds. This one looks like she's she's got a black eye. Must have dropped the dishes or something like that. There we are. A school. Anyways, I'll get on to what I was talking about, but quite, quite a, an interesting piece, that one. Okay, now, what we have here is a really, really ultra cool, I don't generally uh, deal in heavy stuff, um, but I do have friends that have real deal, old school, centuries old stone things, like Ishidoros, Golden Toros, stuff like that, um, you know, real deal, uh, granite and that sort of thing. This is stone, uh, it's not some concrete modern composite. This is the real deal, and it came from the manor house of a temple, and so this is the real deal. Um, it weighs about what the size we've got here, I'll hold that down. <coughs> uh, Let's see, um, 725 mil tall, uh, 580 wide, and 530 in depth. And it weighs something on the lines of the guesstimate 140, 150 kilos, something on those lines. I'm telling you, this thing is not that easy to move. And I'm thinking about, um, which was an original idea, doing some kind of ramping system here because um, these doors can come off which I've done before and utilizing uh, this framework uh, where those brackets are would be perfect I'm going to set up some angle line um, and a block and tackle one of those uh, say 500 kilo jobs and then I'll be able to I've got 40 mil to play with which is less than a couple of inches um, overall to get my rig backed up into here, enough to put a pallet on and, and uh, use the block and tackle to handle heavier things. Okay, so, as this is, this is uh, way back in the day, so it's centuries old, and uh, as they removed it, it took a lot to get it out, and so this bottom section here eventually broke away uh, to move it and that's, that was a lot of work to, to get that out. Um, but that's all cool because this area all around here had white 
pebble stones all around it anyway, so you know, I'm, I'm not fussed about that. Um, nor should you be. Um, now, Nichiren, this guy, hello, oh hey, was a Buddhist monk around the 800 odd years ago, and I'll follow this the information from this fellow. Now, um, trying to move it from this position right here, have to call in the troops. Uh, so I'll just have to do this, um, do this for, you know, even trying to move this thing, I'm telling you. This thing handles 100 kilo, but, uh, nearly destroyed it. Um, now, let's see, um, as I say, that bottom section there, which is very strong, and, uh, you know, they took a lot to, to pull this thing out. Um, back here, there's a little bit of scraping, nothing to worry about, just sort of there. Um, you know, nothing really to, to worry about at all. Let's see. Yeah, its condition is superb. Looks like you know, it's a bunch of way back in the day. And then nice nick here. Uh, very old school, but as you can see, it's It's a superb, superb piece. Um, just go, go sideways for me. Nobody likes, nobody likes camera work on the side, do they? Um, hair beads there. And they make it secure. They've put a piece in there way back in the day to make that secured. I doubt that they simply chipped all around that, but that might be, poss might be possible, maybe that was the case. Now, obviously, this is not cheap, and also, quite the mission logistics uh, for this, uh, what we have to do is uh, box it up, pallets, no shipping company that can get um, a pallet to any port. garden, something like that, well, you know, it's a serious investment, um, but I think that, uh, you know, we're looking around probably about a thousand dollars in freight to get it to a port near you, um, you know, I'll have to, yeah, I think I'll have to, uh, it used to be, I mean, back in the day, it was like 500 bucks for a pallet, but those days are gone, man, those days are... Those days are well gone, so I'm just going to have to put up roughly, um, in freight-wise, about a thousand dollars, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, please are these serious uh, people that are interested, because you know I, I got to call this freight company, this this particular freight company. I got to call these guys, and you know, and handle get it, get it all sorted out, obviously. So you know, if you've if you're just there to waste time, well that's your time and my time and all we have is time. So, you know, get with the program on that one. Uh, so as you can see, fantastic piece and it's 
It's just gonna be here. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm moving it quite the mission. Um, the mate's coming on tomorrow, so I reckon we might. Uh, I can ask that bloke over there too, the bloke down the road there, and we can uh, getting it off the truck was an, was quite a mission. Getting it on the truck was uh, <laughs> quite a mission. So that's that. Uh, I have quite a few pictures. Um, some pictures, quite a few. If you want more, just let me know. And if you're really serious about it, you know, we can make this happen. So, uh, until that time, if you're in, you're in. So, well, um, any more information you need, uh, just, just ask me. Uh, right, so, as you can see uh, down here, it's kind of blue type of stone, really solid stuff. So this, they, they really had to work to get this out of here. That's why, that's why we have this, but not to worry as I say, because all that section around there was had the white pebbles and all that as you can imagine. So, there you are. Uh, it would be great to see someday if you do buy it. Um, I want pictures. Uh, I don't want just some dude that's going to buy it and then sell it on to somebody else. I want I want to see it settled in a place where it's going to be there for like ever. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I hope for this piece, and that's why I decided to say yep, I want that. So there you are.